Your questions about the COVID vaccine have been coming in through the special email that we set up, special email address vaccine at NBCPhiladelphia.com. And NBC10 Responds has been taking them straight to our region's top doctors. Today, we talked with Penn doctor Judith Green McKenzie. Our first question deals with one of the main reasons people are hesitant to get the vaccine. Anthony writes, how is this safe when it takes years of testing for others to be deemed safe and it took about seven to ten months for it to be fully tested? Dr. McKenzie says she understands people's hesitancy, but here's what she wants people to know. And it, it really was not rushed. Um, this mRNA platform has been under study for over 10 years by Drs. Weissman and Karoki at University of Pennsylvania, and there are others as well I'm probably leaving out, but it's been under study for over 10 years. So it just so happened that coronavirus hit at a time when we actually had this mRNA platform almost ready to go. Our next question is from Jim. In what state of health must a person be in to receive either the first dose or the second dose? Although I was not tested, I was in the same household with someone who did test positive, and we both had symptoms. Um, so in general, for any vaccine, whether it's a flu vaccine, the measles vaccine, you should be feeling well. You should not be feeling ill. You shouldn't have a fever or sore throat. Just feeling well in general, because in fact, the vaccine, you will be mounting an immune response and you want to be feeling well to do that. Dr. McKenzie said, if you're currently sick with COVID, obviously wait until you're well. Also, you likely know that you'll have natural immunity for at least two to three months, but there's nothing harmful about getting the vaccine after you're feeling better. Dr. McKenzie also says, since you might have an even stronger immune response after having it, your symptoms after getting the shot might be more severe. Send us your questions about the COVID vaccine to vaccine at NBCPhiladelphia.com. You can also send us a message through our NBC Philadelphia Facebook page.